This is a mere moment. No one will remember it. No one. Not your name, nor mine. It all ends up the same. Regret torments you. My only regret is losing to whatever you are. You reek of fading glory. My eyes, Sunan. Let's go. 
first man I killed for my order, I cried and wept after trying to hold back the tears. But I told myself, I am merely acting upon a foretold destiny, navigating the whim of greater gods. My actions are simply pebbles. Pebbles that wash away in the surf as harmless as dust. Pebbles were once bedrock. As for you, I've been saving these just for you. What have you got for me today? Always a pleasure doing business, Eivor. Can't have too many. Go on, give it a try. I imported this with you in mind. Is that everything? I must take my leave. So long. I hope to see you soon. You are a good boy. Message.
Eivor. Lincolnshire is a friend to us. Wonderful news. And who is our ally there? The boy Hunwald is the new elderman of Lincolnshire, and he has sworn allegiance to us. The loud one, an elderman? Well, should he ever wish to call for aid, he need only shout. I want to see the Alliance map. My mind is fixed on Sussex. Basim and I have a chance to save Sigurd, but we will need an army. That is for you to decide. The more alliances you have, the better your chances at victory. I will go now. And I will bring Sigurd back with me. That is a promise. Good. I will send word to our allies at once. Meet with Basim when you can. He should be in Croindene by now. I have something here for you. Tidings that may displease you. Tell me. You remember Kjotve's son, Gorm? He has since taken his father's place in the Order. Interesting. He's got him here in England. Is he another bludge on our list? He is one of our targets, yes. But he is not in England. He is further west, in fact. A land called Vinland, discovered centuries ago by an Irish sailor called Brendan. The Order of the Ancients has some recent fascination with Vinland, but I cannot say what it might be. Let me find out for you, after I silence got him. Vinland is far away, according to my source. It may take weeks to find him after a long and perilous journey. There is no danger that would cow me, Hytham. I will speak with Ranvi and arrange passage. Was there something else? I have to go. Then go in peace. Swan Road!
breadbasket of Wessex, land of plenty. dark and grubby as they say not since it almost burned to the ground all those charred moved him you wouldn't be the first man to fall asleep on watch but you would be the loudest i did not mean to fail you good drum jarl it was only for a moment i was so tired as are we all boy we marched hard to get here still <gasps> let's not disappoint me again you hear my jarl Sorry! You must be Eivor. I've heard much of you, young one. They say you're something. We'll see. Stay around a while and judge for yourself. Oh, I will. Have no fear of that. Eivor hopes to rescue Sigurd from the madwoman Fulke, now ensconced in Porchester Fortress. If you wish to crown yourself King of Wessex, Porchester must fall. An alliance here serves us both. You promised a great army, but you couldn't breach a Crone's garden with what you have assembled here. This is not the sum of my forces. Where are the rest? Your allies are on their way. We must be patient. We cannot wait for them. We march as soon as we're able. With these numbers, are you keen to see Valhalla today? I will not sit on my heels while Sigurd rots in that she-dog's care. We might muster for an attack in the woods east of Porchester. But there are scouts between there and here. Scouts I can manage. Point me at them and I will blind Fulke's eyes. One walks the road between Briggsworth and Chichester. Another on the riverbank north of Crowley. A third keeps watch on the hills south of Croendine. But I warn you, these are all we know of. There may be more. A risk we must take. I will find the scouts. You move the men into position near Porchester. That is a rash gamble, Ravenfear. If we are spotted, we will be vulnerable. If you want victory, come now or not at all. Every hour we waste could be Seeker's last. You had better be all they promised. Stretch your wings, Sunan. Go! They said there would be a scout on this hill. I smell blood on... I smell blood on the air. Scout before me.
If they see me, this will get messy. Yeah! Survey the area, Sunan. Yeah! moment. Come, 
Help me with this. Hey, come here. Can't do this alone. Some good takings here. <laughs> Give me a hand over here. Give me a hand with this. A scout patrols the riverbank north of Crowley. Cast about this laugh, my friend. No escape, you yellow dog!
but see you, old friend. I must be careful now. Interesting. This scout was carrying orders from Fulke. Basim would like to see this. I've seen to the scouts. Basim and Guthrum will be waiting in the woods east of Porchester. Be gentle if they spot me.
Artefakt. I once knew a man. Cleaned all the rats in London. He took his time. They loved him, and he loved them. They lived freely. We came to see him for a scrub. Rats have a certain freedom. Will they feed on shit? It's a coward's freedom. A Valhall for the vanquished. The scouts are dead, and you're safely encamped. I told you this would work. Time will tell. Any eye that saw you has been dimmed by death. You are not short on confidence. That much is clear. Leaders should not second-guess themselves. Nobody respects a tremble heart. I have known plenty as brash as you. Not many are left in this world. I found something of interest on one of the scouts. Fulke has news of Croydon's fall. She is gathering men and supplies, perhaps to weather a siege. If she is allowed to dig in at Porchester, it might be months before we can get Sigurd out. Do you still say I'm reckless in my haste, Guthrum? Saxons! Saxons from the west! I say your haste has put us squarely in the shit. Fulke was forewarned. There must have been more scouts than we knew of. What's done is done. Save your breast for the fight. We kill them here! Behind the walls of Porteous! Either way, they die!
you dogs! Back to Porchester! They flee like rabbits! Then we chase them like hounds! That ugly bastard's head is mine! Not if I get there first, slow arse! Leave him! The day is already won! Found you, Saxon. You'll join your friends soon enough. Is it that withered bag of sin you fight for Sigurd the? Sh uh, shit! You bear your false deities like a plague to this land, but you know nothing of those who truly decide our fate. I decide your fate today, Saxon. I am ready for my final journey. Let me see what lies beyond. I will not. Go and tell Fulke what you saw today. Tell her Ava is coming to tear her heart from her chest. I will tell Fulke her opponent is a weakling who does not have the stomach to finish what they started. Steady, you will regret this mercy! Your breath will... You are wounded, Broder. Let me bear your brother to the camp. Stripling, I warned you the risk was too great! Peace, Guthrum. It is Fulke who merits your wrath, not Eivor. You have not seen the half of my wrath. How many of my men now lie dead on account of this glory hoarder? You knew the danger as well as I did, Guthrum. You saw opportunity, and you took it. Indeed. The fault is none but mine for putting my trust in you. What happened here? Uba, Soma, you come at a black hour. And too late to bloody our blades. Most a pity. I hope to take Porchester with this one. But Folk is forewarned now. I have no more appetite for this. I will go west. Go then. But know you leave me in a time of need. What you need is to swallow your pride, raven feeder. Listen to wiser heads than yours. Eivor. I am no errant child to be talked down to by my elders. No. You are supposed to be a leader. So listen now. You want your Jarl back? You must be cold as frost. Bravery is your enemy as often as your friend. We do not dash ourselves against hopeless courses. We arrive unexpected. Strike swift. Gather your allies. Pick your moment. Then, and only then, you crush them. You can triumph yet. Go with the wisdom of Odin, the power of Thor, the wit of Freya. Go and find your brother. Gudrum spoke in anger, but there is wisdom in what he says. We will wait for our allies before the final attack. Until then, we have work to do. First, we need a new camp. The Saxons think we have retreated, but we will draw even closer. Here. Arrive unexpected. Erke, Stowe, ride there ahead of me. Together, we will bring them down. It brings me no pleasure to fight my own people, but a debt is a debt. We will leave immediately. Besides, they're men of Vasex, Alfred's folk. 
No bro After that, we should strike at Fulke supplies all across Sussex. Yes. If she is allowed to dig in at Porchester, we will lose our chance to rescue Sigurd. The letter I found on the scout mentioned Bridgeworth, Gildeford, and Crowley. They produce weapons in Crowley, food in Gildeford. Bridgeworth is a stronghold. Many Saxon swords there. Uber, I need your axe arm at Gildeford. Soma, you and your men will aid me in Crowley. Count on us. I will go to Bridgeworth and take a measure of things there. Good. I will join you after I've dealt with the Saxon camp. A liar's heart and a crow's cunning. Guthrum judged you too swiftly. We have work to do. Let's be about it. Okay, Stowe. Ready to attack? I have reservations. Sparrowheart has reservations. Though Mercia wars often with Wessex, these people are Christians. Perhaps I can talk to them to avert more bloodshed. You know the people of this isle better than I, Stowe. I trust you. Thank you, Eivor. I will do what I can. Brave soldiers, my name is Stowe, Reeve of London, and this Dane at my side is Reeve Erke. He is my partner in London. Together we see that justice is done. But more, he is my friend. In London we live in harmony with the Danes. So could you. But your king does not share our philosophy. Alfred bleeds his land dry. Works you all to the bone for a needless war. Now he wants you to die for it. So I beg you, in God's name, walk away from this camp. I will find you new and worthy employment in London. You are good men and true. I would not want this day to be your last. This one's right. The Danes are here to stay, like it or not. What good's dying now? Don't be a lackwit. Soon as you drop your swords, they'll murder us. That's no heathen talking, he's a Saxon. I, for one, believe him. Come on, lads. It's a new life in London for us. Better that than dying here in the mud. We'll deal with you traitors later. The rest of you... Brave try, friend. But now we do things my way. When words fail, iron speaks loudest.
Thor lends me strength. The camp is ours. That wasn't so hard, was it, Stowe? Even one man's death is too many. Now I must see about destroying full case supplies. Gildeford is a town of farmers and grain silos. Upa will be nearby. All is ready? We're a town of farmers and shepherds. This place bristles with swords. One of them is a thane by his dress. Serious men with him, too. Went into the longhouse. If we take care, we might avoid drawing the thane's attention while we burn the grain silos. Ha! <laughs> Was that a jest? Bring them on! Been too long since I met a Saxon warrior worth half a shit.
Quiet with you complaining. We are not hiding like field mice. We are stalking like lynxes. They spotted us. They're going for that. I'm sick of skulking around. Now, where's the advantage?
focus. We have this. Forest of Saxon swords awaits within those walls of stone. I should consult with Batham. He'll be nearby. What have you discovered? Bridgeworth swarms with guards, reinforced from the river. Word is that two of Fulke's finest oversee such matters. We should kill these leaders and burn their ships. Crippled and put to panic, their men will be in no place to join Fulke at Porchester. Frightened men look to their own interests. A good plan.
This area is off limits. No more sailing for these Saxons.
Soma, what is happening here? Bandits, taking advantage of the disorder in Suffolk to fill their pockets. Odin smiles on us today. Let us make sure this place is burned to the ground. Fulke will get no more weapons from here. We could charge in while they are distracted, but it would be safer to use fire arrows. We burn them from afar. Watch them scatter like cats. A sound decision. I agree. Archers! Take your positions! Stand ready, Eivor! When they see us, they will charge. We must defend the men! Get past me! Best defense is to attack. Go! Get in their teeth! Move in, men! Storm the town!
I should return to our camp. Time to die! Elderman Hunwald, you honor your father by answering my call. Swanborough sends her regards. My lady love, let her name be my flame of hope, for I confess the thought of this battle turns my guts to water. Ah, fighting is easy. Just look your opponent in the eyes, then put an axe between them. Yes, I remember. Well, I have brought the best archers in Lincolnshire to lend their bows to your cause. Good. We will rain death upon our enemies today. Good work, Hunwald. Be ready. Eivor has returned! Hail, Wolfkiss! You are quite the agent of chaos. Fulkis men are chasing their tails, not knowing where you will strike next. Porchester has neither the supplies nor the forces to keep us out now. 
And you have bought time for your allies to arrive. Many have come, not least the bishop here. As I promised. <laughs> As a keeper of God's word, it would be poor form if I did not keep my own. Now, if the talking is done, there's blood to be spilled. Eivor, dark news. We found a letter in one of the dead. Fulke has called for aid. Reinforcements. A Saxon army marches from Winchester. Then my men and I will ride to meet them. We will harry them every step of the way to buy you time. We may begin the assault at once, or you might wish to speak with your allies, if you've not done so already. Warm words do thaw the chill of battle fear. We march. When the sun sets on this day, Sigurd will be returned to us, and Fulke's head will be on a spike. Let us begin. I left you in Canterbury? You will die today, Fulke! But your men may live if you come here to me and settle this alone. We have nothing to settle. Die on these walls if you will. It is your choice. No wall is high enough to keep me from you. Then come! Claim your brother if you can. I shall wait with him. If you would find us. You need only follow his screams. Fulke! What will the Skalds say when they speak of this day? They will say we unleashed such rampant slaughter that Odin himself stirred on his throne to watch. They will say that ravens blackened the sky to feast on Saxon dead. So raise your swords with me now, brothers and sisters. For today is the day we carve our names into legend! <laughs> I'm coming for you, brother. So many battles and so few scores, What's your secret? I don't get hit. Aha! Simplest strategies are the best.
Ivan! Shit! I have to repair that. Shit! Oh. 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 
Secret was here once, but no longer. Where has Fulke taken him? Huh. <sighs> Is this Secret's blood? Every instant of your torment, Fulke will suffer tenfold. The church! Fulke must have taken him there! Come on, Basin! I've done all I could to help him, Ava. The rest is up to you. No! No! Brother! Brother! I'm here for you. I have you. Let me stay with him. You deal with Fulke. I'll come back for you. I promise. You cower from me, Fulke, like a rat in the dark. We are all in the dark, Ava. It is the search for the light that brings us closer to the gods. Save your babble. Death is our language now. You fight beneath the banner of ignorance, Ava. I could pull back the curtain for you, give you a glimpse of what lies beyond. I need nothing from you. Sense here. A pity to kill one with such potential. Where are your fine words now, Paladin? If 
If you will not raise your eyes to the light, I will bury you in the dark. So you can fight after all. You meddle in matters you do not understand. Wonder, Aver, at the things I have learned? Every word you say is madness. Sigurd is an ancient one, an archer, Nephilim, Isu, call him what you will. He is reborn. He is my brother and my Jarl, and you are mind sick. He is everything we should hope to be. Okay! Damn you to hell! Okay! You can't run from me forever! Nobody touch her. She's mine. You are too late, Haver. I have opened your brother's mind to the truth. That is my victory. And you will go with me to the grave. My work will live on for all time. Let me... 
Let me walk. Sigurd. Eivor. I will... I will fight. As a thresher through a field of weed, mad one. What has she done to you? Eivor! We delayed them as long as we could. Reinforcements from Winchester have come. Get Sigurd to a boat. I'll hold them off till you're safely away. Fight well, Eivor. Find us at the settlement when you can. Archers! To the walls! Is that the last of them? We have beaten them back for now, but without Guthrum's army, we do not have the numbers to hold this fort. We found Sigurd. That is what matters. Guthrum was hasty in his judgment, Eivor. You are fit to stand with the best of us. Go to your brother. The words of one beloved will heal him faster than herbs. I will see to matters here. May the gods guide you, Uber. Until we meet again. <laughs> 